Hi everyone, welcome to the RPP Resonance Chemistry. Now let us continue our lectures on electrochemistry. Today we are going to solve some of the numericals on L EMF calculation. Okay, I'll give the very simple trick uh, to solve the EMF uh, problems. Okay, so uh, with the with these trick uh, you will solve the EMF problems very simple. Well, I think it is uh, uh, less than. 30 to 20 seconds, less than 30 to 20 seconds. So that means a um, uh, fraction of seconds you will solve the EMF problems. Okay, now I will go through the very simple trick. First of all, you will go through the trick, then only solve the, these type of problems. Okay, here two tricks are there. So one is the general method, another one is uh, some exceptional method. I will give the, these two tricks. So if you follow the only one trick, uh, sometimes they are giving the exceptional exceptional type of problems. Uh, so then you will lose your marks. That's why I will go through the conceptualized tricks. Okay, not the like uh, it's, a, uh, it's a whole trick, bold tricks. So it is a conceptualized tricks. Now the first one. So here, if uh, any any reaction, uh, so here A can convert into A plus, B plus can convert into B. So the overall reaction is A plus B plus gives rise to A plus plus B. So this is the overall reaction. So here, but they are given in the uh, reduction potential value A plus A again the B plus B. So here it it undergoes the reduction. That's why here it's uh, E naught value is enough. Okay, so that that is correct for the uh, SRP. But here it undergoes the oxidation. But they are given in the reduction potential value. Okay, please aware about the, those terminology. Okay, so here it undergoes the oxidation, but they are given in the like reduction potential value. Okay, we know that uh, standard reduction potential value E naught reduction is equal to minus of E naught oxidation, minus of E naught oxidation. So these type of problems, so these type of problem uh, uh, like uh, formulas which are needed to uh, like uh, uh, to solve the, these type of problems. Okay, now here A plus A will undergo the E naught, uh, so will undergo the like oxidation reaction. So but they are given in the reduction potential. Now here we need to change this sign okay so now let's go through the trick so first of all uh, to solve the to remember the these type of trick what we need uh, three type of three three points are needed okay the first one so arrange the series arrange the series simply we'll arrange the series of their values based on that uh, minus three minus two minus one like zero one two three let us arrange the these uh, let us arrange the series of these two values okay if they are given in the one negative one positive so negative value placed at the top and the positive value to, uh, placed at the bottom so that is the first first criteria now if they are given in the two values in negative most negative that means more negative values keep at the top uh, and less negative value keep at the bottom now third point so if they are given in the two positive values low positive value keep at the top of the position and um, uh, high positive value keep the bottom of the position okay based on that we will arrange the series now the second one so if top of the molecule above one is anode always we know that above one is anode so anode undergoes the oxidation reaction but they are given in the reduction potentials so that's why what we need to change that so the change of above electrode sign okay why because here they are given in the reduction potential value but why need uh, it undergoes the oxidation that's why we'll go through the uh, negative change negative sign so if e oxidation we need e oxidation is equal to minus of e reduction so that is enough, that is enough okay they are given in the reduction value so just keep the negative before the uh, reduction value that that is nothing but uh, e oxidation so that's why change the sign of above one change the sign of the above one so third one add them add those values add those values so these three points are enough to solve the any type of uh, like our emf calculations okay now let's go through the like a uh, calculation of emf value so the first of all first problem here they are given in the copper plus two zinc zinc plus two zinc, uh, copper so here copper plus two can convert into copper here the value is 0 0.34 Zinc plus 2 to zinc, uh, the value is 0 0.76 minus. Okay, according to our series, so that if they are given in the one negative one positive, the negative value placed at the top. So minus 0 0.76 is the bottom value is positive. Okay, this is the value. So again, the second point, change the sign. Let us verify. It. So let us verify it, whether it is oxidation or re re reduction. So just you go through the verification of uh, before uh, before change the sign. Just you go through the verification. So now here they are given in the reduction potential value. In the reaction, zinc can convert into zinc plus two. Zinc can convert into zinc plus two. That means here it is oxidation. Okay. So here it uh, oxidation takes place. That's why we will change the sign. So it's enough. 
uh, no more problems so if it is already reduction uh, it undergoes the redu uh, reduction reaction but we will change the sign that is wrong okay so that's why here it is an oxidation reaction that's why we we change the sign of the those value so the negative becomes positive let's add them so here it is 1.10 so positive value so this is the emf of first cell emf of the first cell let's solve the some of the problems you will solve the uh, you will go through the some of the problems uh, you will solve the problem within 10 seconds so definitely okay now let's go through the another problem so i think it is uh, three points are uh, very easier pretty easier now the second one so they are given in the two values one is a uh, minus 0 0.76 and another one is 0 0.77 so negative positive negative is top positive is bottom okay now here this is the value so let's change the sign of the above one so either above first rule is above one second rule is below one that's enough okay so if it is above one let's cross verify that whether it is a uh, oxidation reaction or not zinc can convert into zinc plus two it is oxidation no need to no need to worry about uh, changing the sign here we need we need to change the sign of the above one so positive so here it is 1.53 volts so this is the second problem now the third problem zinc zinc plus two okay so don't write the uh, each and every equation here they are given in the two values 1.07 1.07 now here zinc can undergo the oxidation but they are given in the reduction potential that's why we will change the top of the molecule so the first keep the keep the series now the second one change the sign of the above one change the sign of oxidation one okay and, uh, above or below so above is first rule below is second rule now change the value then we will add them so here 13 8 1.83 volts 1.83 volts but in case of fourth one but in case of a fourth one here they are given in the minus 0 0.44 minus 0 0.14 in case of two negative values so the topmost negative is top and uh, bottom most negative is bottom okay simply lowest negative is bottom so in case of them so above one is according to our first rule above one is changed okay arrange the series now the second change the sign change the sign of above okay the third one is uh, like uh, add them add those values add them simply okay so now according to the second rule if above one is not undergoes the oxidation reaction if below one is undergoes the oxidation reaction then we change the below one sign not the above one sign okay now let's go through that so above one is iron plus two so iron plus two value is minus 0 0.44 so above one it undergoes the reduction reaction that's why they are given the reduction potential there is no need to change the uh, sign of iron plus two to iron okay now but here uh, thin can converts into thin plus two here it undergoes the oxidation reaction but they are given in the reduction potential value now we need to change the uh, oxidation reaction value so thin undergoes the oxidation reaction but uh, iron undergoes the reduction that's why we need to change the tin value tin sign okay so this is the tin sign this is the second method so this is the second method now here zero like a three zero so but we'll go through the first method so let's go through the first method so change the sign of the above one so now we will go th we will get the 0 0.30 positive value so they are given in the two options so negative um, 0 0.30 volts positive 0 0.30 volts if you go through the, this one so this is wrong why because wherever they undergoes the oxidation reaction then only change the sign of the uh, uh, that one that particular electrode why because so if in case of the uh, given in the two different types of electrode oxidation potential of anode so the emf value in our previous lecture we are discussed so oxidation potential of anode plus reduction potential of cathode okay based on that we will go through the our uh, simple trick okay now let us solve some of the uh, problems let us exercise some of the problems i think it is very helpful Okay, now let us solve the sum of the problems regarding to the EMF, EMF value. So here H2 plus Cl2 can convert into 2 HCl. Okay, now here H plus can undergo the, uh, like, uh, they are given in the reduction potential of H plus and uh, reduction potential of chlorine. Okay, and now according to our our three points, that is, uh, keep the arrangement in the series, 2, uh, 0 and positive, so positive always uh, write down in bottom, in case of 0 and R negatives. Okay, now let us change the sign of uh, uh, top of the one which one and undergoes the oxidation the, that is the like a modification of our tool rules why, why because so the 
wherever the oxidation reaction takes place, uh, the sign will be changed over there only, over there, okay. Now here, H2 can convert into H plus. So H2 can release the two electrons, that's why here it is the sign changed. So then, so 1.36 minus 0, that means 1.36 also. Okay, now in similarly, here 0 0.77, that is the like order 0 0.15, 0 0.77. Here, keep this, keep uh, change the sign, keep in the series. Now, the second point, change the sign of the anode, uh, like anodic one. Now, here 0 0.1, above one is anode, so that's why we will change the sign over there. Now, 752, 716, uh, 0 0.62, 0 0.62 volts. Here it is the positive. Now, the another one, zinc can displaces the uh, zinc with dilute solution, it evolves the uh, like uh, uh, hydrogen gas it evolves the hydrogen gas so those type of reaction here 0.76 and 0 0.00 so we will change the wherever the oxidation takes place now here zinc can convert into zinc plus 2 okay zinc can convert into zinc plus 2 here it is oxidized so oxidation takes place uh, at anode only that's why we will change the anodic uh, anodic value so that we need the oxidation potential but they are given in the reduction potential that's why we will change the sign of them okay so then particular electrode sign will be changed so 0 plus 0 0.76 so the value is 0 0.76 volts okay here it is the positive here it is the positive and similarly so here uh, zinc metal is uh, above the standard hydrogen electrode but silver metal is below the standard hydrogen electrode here it will be changed we observe okay so now here 0 0.00 0 0.80 here whatever the metal undergoes the oxidation those those electrode sign will be changed okay now here according to our our rule so above one is changed but uh, I modified the our rule. So uh, how how it is modified? Wherever the oxidation takes place, uh, then only uh, they, those electrode sign only change. Now here Ag can convert into uh, like Ag plus two. So a sign will be changed at the bottom. Zero minus eight point zero. So minus zero point eight zero volts. So this is the second rule. The modification is nothing but second rule. Now again another rule is the minus zero point seven seven. Here it is the like a uh, one point seven eight. So here it is not minus, it is 0 0.77, like 1.78, 1.78. So according to them, so above one is anode, uh, the oxidation, those sign will be changed. So then we will get the 1.01 volts. So here it is the positive. So again, these type of problems solved in uh, like a Latimer diagrams. In Latimer diagrams, I'll solve the, these type of problems, very easier model. So now let's uh, let's go through the 0 0.34 and 0 0.52. To change the sign of above one. So 12, 4, 8, uh, 4, uh, 4, 3, 1, 0 0.18 volts. So here it is the positive. Okay, now again, let us solve these another problems regarding to the our EMF calculation. Okay guys, now let us solve some of uh, some other problems regarding to our EMF. Okay, now let's go through the problem number 11. So here they are given in the two values. So without any like a representation of cell notation, so we will solve the direct method. So that is uh, above one is anode, so negative one is anode, 763. So below one is a cathode. So change the anodic, uh, anodic electrode sign. Okay, now here uh, it is positive, 9312. So that means uh, like 6. 1.562 volts, 1.562 volts. Now the problem number 12, they are given the two values, minus 0 0.25 and 1.50. So change the sign of anode, so a negative one is anode. So that's why 571, 1.75 volts, 1.75 volts. In simple manner, this, this is one of the previous year, like a competitive exam question that is a lower level, uh, JE means uh, question. So 0 0.5 and 0 0.75, so change the sign of the above one. So then we will get the 0 0.25 volts. 0 0.25 volts it is the positive value okay now and similarly so we'll go through the like a minus 2.37 is anode 0 0.34 is cathode so change the sign of anode so 7430 2.03 volts okay sorry i think i subtract that so now here 7417 2.71 volts 2.7 volts now here in this case so minus 1.03 minus 0 0.76 minus 1.03 and minus 0 0.76 so here uh, the two methods are there so sorry here two values are there so the above one is anode that's why we will change the sign of the above one so now we will get the like 13 7 
uh, like uh, here 972 0.27 volts here it is the positive here it is the positive why because so zinc can undergoes the zinc plus 2 can undergoes the reduction reaction zinc plus 2 can undergoes the reduction but uh, our zinc method uh, zinc nh3 four times zinc nh3 four times it undergoes the oxidation so that's why those values only change so wherever the oxidation takes place that is uh, that is uh, act as anode so those anodic electrode values can converts into uh, can converts the sign so then only oxidation we will get the oxidation potential so we will sum of the oxidation potential of anode and uh, like a uh, reduction potential of cathode then only we will get the our emf value okay i hope you guys it is very helpful for the competitive examiners so like lower level to higher level students lower level to higher level students okay i think uh, if you have any doubts regarding to the emf values please mention in our uh, comment box so i'll explain in another video another like a solution part of the electrochemistry video okay thank you so much for watching